My name is Lewis Morrill and I'm a University Research Fellow here at Cardiff University in Synthetic Organic Chemistry. My job involves both teaching at undergraduate and postgraduate in levels in addition to running a research group that focuses in synthetic chemistry and homogeneous catalysis. Hi, I'm Dr Rebecca Meelan and I'm a lecturer uh, in chemistry at Cardiff University. So I'm Tim Eason, I'm a uh, Royal Society University Research Fellow at Cardiff University. I work in a chemistry department and I make porous materials. My name's Dr Joseph Beams and I'm uh, a University Research Fellow here at Cardiff University and I'm also uh, a Mary Curie Individual Fellow. I'm Emma Richards, I'm a Research Fellow here in the School of Chemistry. Um, in terms of my teaching, I teach uh, first year in organic chemistry, uh, so it's all about redox processes, electron transfer processes. Uh, in terms of my research, uh, I'm in the physical chemistry section uh, and I do advanced spectroscopic uh, analysis on catalysis processes. So I look at homogeneous catalysis and heterogeneous catalysis uh, using a technique that uses a combination of microwaves and magnetic fields to study electron transfer processes. My research ultimately addresses uh, a whole range of problems but ultimately what I do is I try and use a bit of novel instrument design along with some laser-based techniques to study chemical reactions that are really, uh, at really quite a fundamental level and the objective there really is to try and understand uh, how particular chemical reactions work and then we can try to understand how that, uh, how that reaction may be promoted or inhibited in different environments. So for example, whether a reaction is likely to take place, for example, above uh, a forested region, which is a nice clean air kind of environment, whether it might take place in uh, air above a city which is quite polluted, uh, how we might promote or inhibit that reaction in an industrial reactor or even in a test tube on the bench top. So I'm interested in uh, catalysis and what a catalyst does is it increases the rate of a chemical reaction um, but is unchanged at the end of the reaction. And most of the catalysts used are the transition metals. Um, so if we look here, these are the transition metals in blue. And quite a lot of these are um, expensive, rare and toxic. So these are the precious transition metals, such as um, rhodium, palladium, iridium and platinum. And what I'm trying to do is um, do this with cheaper uh, non-metals. And so I'm looking at these elements um, in catalysis and in particular uh, boron. My research is based around two problems. One is fundamental and that's how atoms and molecules move when they're confined in very small channels and very small spaces. And the other is how can we then use that knowledge and use those materials that we, we make to study that to make something useful. So for example, one of the projects we're working on is water desalination. Can we take salt out of seawater by using very tight channels that, that let the water through and trap the things that we don't want the salt and keep it held back? So the, the research problem that my group tries to address is to develop new synthetic methods in organic chemistry. More specifically, we're interested in using catalysis and often more than one type of catalysis together in order to both improve the efficiency of known processes and to develop new processes that are unknown to chemistry. And this can potentially impact on society through the, develop <coughs> the development of improved methods for the generation of pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals or, say, materials.